Right, for those that don't know or have just tuned in, it is day 1001. I have made a video every single day of since the beginning of lockdown of what's going on on the farm. Today is a special day. It is our tractor run where we're driving 110 tractors through the streets of Liverpool. So there's lots of me getting prepped at the moment. Uh, we've been getting them ready for the last few weeks. If you want to go back through the videos, you can check them out if you're new. If you're not new, you know exactly what's going on because I've done it for three years. And hopefully this year we're going to try and raise £100,000 link below if you want to press it anyway that is what's going on on this channel so keep watching and let's see how the day goes there should be more tractors arriving all day we've got a couple to get ready we've got a few sort of like youtube celebrities driving some of them as well so you're going to see a bit from them getting their tractors ready when they arrive so this is a very special edition queen's jubilee massey 8s and the guy that's driving this doesn't even know that it's a present for him. So Richard Bauer has sorted it out for his dad, which is called Ray, from Lower Drayton Farm. Uh, they have a play bar, check it out. So his dad thinks he's just coming tonight just to watch the tractor run. He doesn't know that Richard's bought this tractor for him and he's actually gonna be driving it and he's arranged it all. And the guy from the dealership is now here, climbing on the roof, putting the lights on. So when he turns up, it is ready to rock. But doesn't it look stunning in this purple? And it'll look amazing when the lights are on later. Uh, unfortunately, it is trying to snow, which we don't want because the police motorbikes can't work in the snow. So hopefully that'll go off in a minute. But that is gonna look epic later. We have a little bit of a build up of ice on the office car park. And this is what we use for the police motorbikes. So I don't want them falling over when they arrive because it look, might take a lot for it to melt. So I'm just trying to scrape it off now with the telehandler. It is just starting to snow again. Not, not a lot, just a dusting. You see the little white bits. Hopefully yeah, it'll turn to rain in a bit. Joe has just arrived to get his TM ready. I'm just uh, still scraping the ice off the car park. It's not really very successful though. I'm hoping that it'll turn to rain in a bit. Just working out where to position the gingerbread man and we think there is the best. I don't know where them two are going with the uh, with the Merlots. But the contract coming. We see it. It's behind the trees. There we go. Monster. There we go. Animal, isn't it? Got a little bit of a traction issue. Today's quiz question: Can Jamie, who's never driven a wagon before, loop it round in this area? Place your bets now. Don't forget, you can scan that QR code on your TV and donate. Yeah, I'll go at that! Loads of room. go it's gonna back it off now make a nice picture that won't it it's that big it needs running boards on the trailer to make the trailer wider it's 
the back one, just lift it and then we just come back down again. A few of you were saying, how come we've not done the one round Banbury last night, which isn't far from him. The simple fact of the matter is it doesn't fit down the roads in Banbury that easily. Um, whereas it came up a few weeks ago and we drove the route to check that everything was suitable for the width and the height of this. Didn't even know that ramp was there, did it? The, the eagle has landed. The yard's slowly thawing, so Ian's gonna brush it a little bit. Just getting the tractors out the shed because that's gonna be the briefing area now, because obviously it's gonna be raining later. So this is the one with the sign on the front, so this will go somewhere near the front of the convoy. Uh, this is the one that Tom's going to be driving. The party has started. So this is behind the scenes of BBC Breakfast, where Katie <laughs> is driving the Zerion. Terrifying everyone. Coca-Cola truck is ready to go, but we can't get the lights on. Uh, got about an hour to fix it, so fingers crossed. Right, I'm going to do a quick lap through the yard while my phone's not ringing. Um, everyone is filling up now. Sorry if it's windy. Contract is there. We're just going to fix the lights on the truck. Mass is here. I'm on fence this year. Got loads down there. Two stars here. Of uh, written word on screen. Uh, Bateman's there, ready to go. We've got some huge lasers over here. Everyone's getting pizza. Uh, where's the lasers? We can't get the lights working on the roller cola truck if you want to help. What's that? We like, can't get the lights on the roller cola truck. Uh, yeah, we've got a stage there, we've got some lasers on it. Hey! Get the snow cannon going! Hold on, I'll just go to the back and I'll be back. Looks like Craig's arrived, there's JCB here. BBC are here. JCB are here with their cameras. We've got Ford, look there's Highways Liz. The more masses arriving. Operation Stack, there's Sweet Caroline, the other sister. Another class here, I think that's Morris Caulfields. Little Ford here, 46 Ford. George, Sam's got a job here, another big fed, more stuff, he's just arrived by the looks of things on his Rogator. Another fed coming in now, a few more feds, big doits over here, this must be Cheshire Farm Machinery is it? Huge doits, a monster that. Another one behind it. Massive, massive coming in. Right. Fence here with a loader on. There's the road gate. So we're going to have two sprays on it this year. I don't know how many tracks we've got here yet. I have to check in the office how many's coming. A few more arriving now. Before I forget, big thanks to the volunteers, to, to Phil and his brother are here, over there. Um, Helen from NFU is here. Also, need to thank the NFU for sponsoring the insurance for this event. So our local office, NFU and NFU Mutual and the NFU Mutual HQ have all gone thirds on the insurance policy for this event. So big thanks for that because it's a few hundred pounds. So that's brilliant. But yeah, we're just operation stack now. Get them all in. I think we've got this space left and we've probably got about another 30 or 40 tractors to fit in and then everyone hopefully will be here ready for the police briefing in about 40 minutes. The music has started.
bit easy here in the eye, this is. the GoPro back to the BBC. Second, so I'm hoping I can fit in here now. There's a lot of people there. To be fair, it was like the part of the Dead Sea, they all moved when they got here. <laughs> the food van's up there. Oh, yeah, I can see yeah. cones now. No worries, we're waiting Thank you. If you can remind everyone that when we leave here until we get to Goodison Park, it's the uh, quiet zone, please. DJ, if you can tell everyone that when we leave here it's a quiet zone, and if you can, tell them all to get into the lanes and get deeper. Uh, there's about five lanes further up the hill that are empty. Yeah, I mean, you could probably have the music on as you go down the road, just a bit quiet, but, we, but realistically, I don't want people beeping air horns. But for some reason, they're not using all the lanes, the tractors, they're only using the bottom two instead of six. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so we're just leaving the food back now. lights on them, does that mean they've gone off? Anyway, we're back in the yard now. Uh, gonna get everyone back in 
some of them are dispersing. There's the quad track back. Made it round, he's got those wing mirrors off. Seven, seven. That's made it round as well. The trees on the front. Right, we're back in the yard now, and I need to thank these guys personally on camera and everyone else because I think there's 28 officers made it past four, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, they've done a fantastic job. Three hours, 45 minutes. Everyone needs a week. But thanks again to Merseyside Police for, for doing this for us. I, 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 hope, I hope you don't send me a bill. <laughs> <laughs> send it to all day if you do, but thanks a lot, lads. There's Jeff back on the Bateman. That looks epic. See the blue lights underneath? Keeping it in the theme. Jeff! Stick it there! Whatever. Lamborghini. There's Joe, Commander. Brilliant that, doesn't it? The massive coming in. New Holland. Is that, is that the early fast track? Is that number four off the production line? I think it could be. Or number three, actually. Smooth headed home. Still a few left to come over the bridge. Big thanks to these guys that have done the snow machines and the Batman lasers. <laughs> have you lost your voice? Lasers. Not a problem. No, my voice is alright. <laughs> it's been right, talking Jones all the way around and look at all the snow and the huge snow cannons. Thanks a lot, UK events. Yes. Indie Band Radio. Radio. Yes. Hey. And don't forget to text tractor to 70540. 70450. Right? Oh, no wonder no one's donated. <laughs> I'm just going to like scan round and show people the, the after show. <laughs> this is a go comparing notes there. It's the morning after, the night before. David's just loading his quad track up now, so we'll. Get a video of that. There we go. Big thanks to DW Clark for bringing it up. David for bringing it as well and polishing it.
can see it's creaking a little bit, but it actually isn't really compared to some low loaders. Perfect. Here we go all loaded up now. Baby shark girl, I love it. Yeah, so JCB turned up first thing this morning to pick the fast track up and the TM. So the lads are just trying to get the lights off it now. Um, I think next time if they send some machines, I'm going to say, yeah, give us a couple of days to get the lights off. I think they actually wanted to pick the 3CX up, but I can't get all the Craig yet. I think he might still be asleep. Just in the buggy now, going to collect the cones in off the roadside. There's a stop people parking, blocking the gate for going out. Uh, they seem to work as well, which is quite handy. In hindsight, I probably didn't need the buggy. They weren't all that far away, but they do get heavy when you've got quite a few of them to get in. Just them there now, I've got the ones from up the hill. Right, today's quiz question is what machine yesterday night did that fall off? Part of the tractor on. If you think you know, let me know in the comments. And if you think you know where it is, we'll send you a hat. Right, we're just taking the Valter that Charlotte was driving back to John Bowers. So Andrew's on his way. I'm going to go and pick him up now in the car. Anyway, look at this. So that's someone that lives not that far from here. Um. I can't believe it, to be honest. I mean, regardless of whether tractors are owner on finance or whatever, you know, I don't know what they do for their community and the joy that they've brought to Children's Hospital and the money that they've raised over the last few years for the hospital. I don't know whether they've been drinking or they're just, uh, I don't know, jealous or bitter. I, I don't know. I just have no words, really. It's just unbelievable that uh, someone that's local to you could post something like that. <sighs> And the other thing is, is even if you buy tractors outright or buy them on finance, they've still got to be paid for. And would you pay your staff five years in advance? I don't know. Don't know who it was aimed at anyway. Might not have been me. Could have just been all 110 farmers that have given up time, effort, thousands of pounds on lights, thousands of man hours making it happen. And also, it's a little bit of a... a no, the thing that's annoying me the most is making out that... that lost in admin i mean i don't quite know how much just giving charges as a percent but that's the only admin and the donations you know oh i've just got no words well i have got quite a few but can't put them on youtube john bowser's yard and they have got a zerion in used slightly older than ours so it's got a bit more of a curved glass in the cab and but the cab lifts up and spins around so they're going to do a demonstration now hopefully To be honest, the video is getting really long, so we're going to see the rest of what's going on at John Bounds' yard tomorrow. Calf has just been from Alder Hay. We've just been adding up the, so I'm getting the light. We've been adding up the text to donate the Just Giving page with the gift aid, and we are over 55,000 so far. Not quite the 100 grand, another 10 grand to go to beat last year. But you know, hopefully with people sharing the videos and the, the BBC have been pushing it out there, hopefully we might, we might make it over the last year's total. Anyway, I'm going to go do the birthday bumper and it's two days worth right time to do the birthday bumper huge today well i thought it was going to be huge so i started cramming everyone up and actually i, I got enough room so we've got joshua patterson is 14 he's got his own youtube channel farming with the pattersons i think uh check it out helen's 39 james kelly 12 augusta or Ag angusta is seven i can't spell the rest of it sorry he's 17 imogen hodges is two Gary Springall is 37. Stephen Stringer, it's not his birthday, but he left a donation to celebrate 1,000 days. Andrew Moore is 31. Sam Chandler is 10. Hilma, I think it's pronounced Hilma. Peacock Hilma. and Tony Burkett. Happy birthday, everyone on there. Look at that, 20,419. We wanted to do 20,000 by Christmas, <laughs> but we're actually smashing it. So thanks for that. Happy birthday, everyone on there and anyone else whose birthday it is.
Right, that is all for today. I might get some sleep tonight. I was so wired last night I couldn't get to sleep. Then I had to be up early to do Radio 5 Live. You might have seen a video of the BBC breakfast footage. Absolutely brilliant that they covered it. Shame they didn't mention the food bank, but you know, never mind. We got the most important bit in, which was visiting all the hay. So thanks to all the drivers. Thanks to the police. They did an amazing job. We could not do it without them. Thanks to all, all the hay marshals. Thanks to the insurance for sponsoring it. Thanks to George for sorting out all the health and safety. Thanks to everyone that was marshaling the yard. And... I know I'm going to forget people. Oh, thanks to all the tractors that put all the effort in because I do know how long it takes and how much it costs to get a tractor ready as well. So thanks to everyone for making it happen. We're at 55,200 so far, I think I just said. Um, hopefully, it'll keep creeping up and I'll see you all tomorrow.